Hey FossTube, Ashley here, Buggy Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizm underscore Buggy Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another whip parade. I think this is technically part three now, I feel like. I think uh, <laughs> this is probably gonna be like a part four series. We're gonna try and get through as much as I can during nap time. Um, we are still on the drawers over here and then we have an entire filing cabinet on the other side of my house. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. We might have some repeats and I might miss a couple of my whips. I think I have them fairly organized or still in the same order in which I recorded. So let's go ahead and just get on with it. <laughs> Um, this first one is in a Project Stitch craft bag, Harry Potter, of course. And um, I think this holds a couple of whips of mine, actually. Nope, just one. Okay, so this one, I need my phone so I can show you guys what all of these things are. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Ugh. I have a picture of all of my whips in a folder on my phone so not only can I like look at it and figure out what the heck I want to stitch on but then I can um, have my friends pick or my mom or anyone pick something for me that I want to stitch okay so this is the night bus by Ars and Anarika I believe is how you say her name there we go, super awesome. I love this pattern. Um, this was a quick start for me at the very beginning of the year or on my birthday, this was a birthday start. Um, and I still need to get more progress done on this guy, but um, this is a piece of 18 count Ada, stitch two over one, um, hand dyed myself. And yeah, there we go. Uh, not very far, <laughs> um, but this was one of those like rush to get started before the beginning of the year. It's no new starts, <clears throat> which by the way, I am really struggling with. <laughs> um, I've still held to it. Uh, we've officially started all of the planned starts. The last one was just um, the end of February. And now there's no more new starts. I just had two uh, planned starts and then no other new starts. Um, but yeah, I'm already dying to start all of the things, which is sad <laughs> because, yeah. Um, this one is just held in a little like book bag that I made by myself. Nothing too fancy. Um, this one is a coffee Quaker. And I'm going to pull up the pattern, view PDF, there we go. Um, this is Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery, super pretty pattern. Um, this calls for specialty threads, but I did the DMC conversion. I'm stitching this 28 count um, 2 over 2, and I hand dyed this myself. Um, so there we go. Here is the whole thing so far. I have made some changes to this pattern. Um, I'm currently in the process of this motif right here. I just finished the motif, but there's an initial right here. Um, so I got to fill in that initial. I'm just going to change it to like be a super bright color though, and not a color um, that is called for. So I got to figure out what color that's going to be. Down here, this motif right here is supposed to be like a treat cup. It has, um, let me see if I can. It's gonna be kind of blurry when I show you, but that's what it's supposed to look like. But I didn't want it to be a treat cup and have like a handles on two sides. I wanted it to be like a steaming cup of coffee basically. So I just had one handle, left the cup empty, and then just did like these little steam marks above it. So I think so far that's the only change that I have made to this pattern. But I'm sure there's going to be more changes. I, I seem to be wanting to change patterns lately. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the, this is it so far. <clears throat> I always really like getting this out, but I do struggle stitching over to 
Um, I have a really hard time with it. Just counting correctly, I guess, for some reason. I think it's just all the distractions and stuff I have a hard time with. Okay. Next up, we have a little Sal, or not Sal, a little collab. This was a company that reached out to me to do a bookmark by Personal Design. I have all kinds of little Harry Potter um, and other like movie bookmarks. Honestly, this would be a finish in like one day if I would just concentrate and do it. But of course, who's got time to sit down and stitch on one thing? It's not like I do it every single day. <laughs> but yeah, so I could finish this like really quickly, but for some reason I just I haven't. <laughs> Uh, here is where we are at. We have most of the bubbles from the cauldron. I think those are bubbles. Yeah, most of the... Actually, we have all of the bubbles, bubbles from the cauldron done. We have the envelope, the flying key, most of the H done, so we just need the P, the cauldron, the little um, stand and fire underneath, and then to backstitch everything, which, like I said, would take literally one day. <laughs> and then I could have one last whip. One day, <clears throat> one day I will get my stuff together and I will finish all of the things that are so close to being finished. <laughs> but there is that one. Also don't know why this is in such a big bag. <laughs> I have like it in a gallon bag. Ugh, silly, silly me. Okay, next up we have Evie Cat Post. Um, this was a new pattern or a new start this year. It was a gift for my husband. And Evolutions Cafe is what it's called from Glitch Stitch AU, which I love her shop. It's kind of amazing. And we all love the Evies here. Um, but I didn't want it to be like a pink like an off pink background. I wanted it to be a little bit more substantial than that. So I'm using a piece of that 19 count Ada that I hand dyed myself. <clears throat> that was supposed to be 18 count, um, ended up being 19 count. Here's the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I haven't gotten very far. I just kind of got the post started and that's it. Again, this was one of those rushes to get it started for the beginning of the year. Um, since I got it for my birthday. Um, so that way I can have it for no new starts. I don't know why I did that. If I ever do no new starts again, I need to not do that. <laughs> Start all of the things right before, but I did. Okay. Next up, we have Alice. This is a very old, pattern or definitely one of like my older ones um this is uh this is alice in wonderland designed by maria bravko there we go okay here's this pattern super pretty i was missing a lot of colors for this one though when i started it um and I, now that i have <clears throat> all of the colors i definitely need to get this one started back up so, and this one is stitched with uh, hobby B underscore NL um, on Instagram. And here she is. Ta da! This one's stitched on 14. No, this one's stitched on 18 count 2 over 1 Ada. Full cross. Um, definitely not as far as it needs to be. <laughs> For sure. That one definitely needs some love. Okay. Next up. We have a very, another very sad start. This one was started before the end of the year though. Um, I wanna say December like 23rd or something. This one I call my Christmas baubles. Let's see. <sighs> Where are you? 
There we go. I think this one's from Tinsel. Actually, let me actually pull it up on Powder and Keeper so I can tell you who it's actually from. Who the designer is. I want to say Tinsel. Um, where is, yeah, Tinsel Cross Stitch on Etsy. This is Christmas Ornaments number two. Um, and there we go. <laughs> Looks like that. Sorry. Trying to get everything up. So of course, like I said, I've really been in the mood to change things lately and I didn't want to do a monochromatic on this one. So I've gone kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you where I am. This is stitched on 18 count Ada two over one full cross. <clears throat> Here's where I've gone to so far. So I'm going to be alternating a couple of blues for the snowflakes and the snowflakes are also mixed with Krennic. I don't know. Oh, there you go. It's a little shiny right there. So I did two strand. No, did I do two strands or one strand? One strand of the um, like DMC and then one strand of Krennic and then two strands of like any other color. So that's where I've gone to so far. And my plan for this one is to do all of the different snowflakes, like two different colors of blues, I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then I want the post and all of the lines to be this dark green, uh, dark green color. And then I want the uh, ribbons to be a bright red. And then the bobbles will be like a random or like a super pretty um, sulky color, which of course I don't seem to have with me right now. Where is winter holidays? There we go. I want to show you guys the picture of what it will actually look like when it's stitched. There we go. So that's the color that the bobbles are gonna be um, in Sulky 12 weight. I, for my Christmas colors, I really like there to be blue. And a lot of times when you are finding those colors, um, or like looking for Christmas colors, they don't have blue for some reason. And so when I found this color, I definitely, I definitely needed it. Um, so these are the colors that I've picked for everything else. So we got DMC 666. Um, and then we have the 162 and 341 for the different snowflakes. And we've picked 890 for the green. Of course, my light just died. Um, but uh, it's showing pretty good what these colors are. Um, so yeah, that's, that's this one. Not very far. Um, I think it's because I just overwhelmed myself with the amount of changes that I made to this pattern. So, <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't do that, but I do it every single time. Okay, I'm going to pause right there so I can get a little charger for my light really fast, and I will be right back. Okay, light is being charged right now. We're moving on to the next goodie. Okay, this one is just put in like a book sleeve that I made. And let's see, what is this one? This is like the only project I have on Black Ada. <laughs> and it's a fairly new star, I believe. This is Possum Song. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Possum Song. Um, so that's what this one is. I'll get you the artist in just a second. I wish these ones were compatible on Pattern Keeper, but they're not. So, um, I have to pull it up on my easy PDF reader really fast to get you the designer name. Mama Witch Cross Stitch. <clears throat> Here it is. Oh, not that one. But that's the same artist anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one is stitched on 14 count Ada, two over one full cross. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat got very dry all of a sudden. 
Um, so this one just kind of reminds <laughs> <laughs> singing banjo or a singing possum with a banjo um her a lot of her projects remind me of the um the show i'm really drawing <laughs> this video it's gonna be so long-winded i'm so sorry um over the garden wall jeez louise anyway uh she has a lot of patterns on her um her store that remind me of that so i actually have a couple of them <laughs> because they're so cute and speaking of, here's the other one that I just accidentally showed. Um, that also reminds me of that one. And this one is the frog and the dancing pumpkin. It's called Dance, Dance, Dance. And this one, um, she does have a picture on her website with the light uh, version or the light fabric version of this one. And that's how I'm stitching it. I figure since the other one I'm stitching black, this one I'll stitch on a lighter color. <clears throat> And this one, um, <laughs> I love these patterns. I really need to get them out. This one is stitched, I'm stitching on a printed fabric. Um, it is 14 count, two over one full cross. And it's like a peachish, like tie dye looking fabric. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, um, but it's completely white on this side and then a little bit tie dyed on this side. So I didn't feel like dyeing anything <laughs> for this one. And I wanted 14 count. I really, really, really like 14 count. And I'm just now noticing that, but I like very large projects. So with the large projects, 14 count just really isn't manageable or realistic um, because with a really big pattern, it's like, where am I gonna hang it? <laughs> On 14 count but this one is a fairly small pattern and it's super cute we got the little frog's face the little pumpkin dancer's hand a couple little pumpkin lanterns and the little ladybug <clears throat> but yeah I, I definitely need to get these ones out for sure like soon maybe I'll keep this out and stitch on it soon Okay, next up, I don't know why something just fell. Um, I'm not sure why I have this in my Marauder's Map like bag, because <laughs> um, it's definitely not a Harry Potter um, project, but I really like this bag. I just, I made it myself. Okay, so this is a uh, long dog sampler pattern. This is, um, Let's see. This is life after death. So it's definitely gonna be a big one. And I have to pull up the photo instead of the um instead of the chart PDF because it will show some of the pattern. And that's not good. Okay, life after death. This one, this ginormous one. Like I said, I really like large projects for some reason. And I just can't, I can't. I just, <laughs> I always go back to them. So this is an 18 count Ada. I really like the feeling of this Ada actually. It's very soft already. Um, and this is where I've gotten to so far. As soon as I get it straightened out. There we go. Um, this is used Sulky. Um, I'm only using one strand of Sulky for this. Uh, full cross. I'm just now noticing that that's a little key. So that's adorable. And I really love Sulky. Um, they're new to me this year or like recently <laughs> like um, I only have a couple of patterns using sulky but I really love that their floss is variegated floss um, the it's the 12 weight and this one is called let's see what is this one called it just says blend blendable color 4038 um, but if I go back to the sulky website really fast I will get you guys exactly what it is. This is called Deep Woods. Um, and 
deep woods. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the website so you can see um, because it doesn't really, oh, there we go. It does show, okay. As soon as it focuses, there we go. This is what it is. It's got green, it kind of reminds me of an old English library um, and that's what I was kind of going for, for this. So, um, yeah, I have two long dogs going right now. This is the first one, and I'll, I'm just about to show you the second one. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love it. I love working on this one. It's not something that I have to think about too much. The only bad thing about a um, variegated floss is you really need to stitch like one stitch at a time, and that can get kind of old sometimes. But other than that, I, I love, love, love it. Okay, this next one is my other long dog. And this one is <laughs> fish and ships. So for some reason, when I first bought this pattern, I thought it was fish and chips, <laughs> which is like deep fried fish and French fries, um, at least here in the States is what that is. And yeah, it's definitely not. And so now the running joke <coughs> or is that I just always call it fish and chips because why not? Even though it's fish and ships is the name of the pattern <laughs> yeah but i've had my eye on this pattern for a really long time it's long dog sampler it's one of their mini patterns by mini it's like 187 by 212 so that's mini by no means for most people but <laughs> yeah um and i started this one on 18 count ada fiddlers and I started it with this KCS um, variegated floss. And I absolutely love this floss. I love all of the colors on Amazon. These I got these off Amazon as like a really big set. And um, I was just going to stitch whatever color I felt like stitching on. And, um, and then the border was going to be this 3750 and everything was gonna be awesome. And I was stitching it on 18 count Ada. And this is where I got to. I got a fair bit done, honestly. And here's my Project Stitch Craft like C needle minder. Um, yeah, so I did a fair bit on this, at least for me. But I started to get really frustrated with it. And the reason why is because I couldn't tell that this was a bird based off of the colors that I picked because I was just picking random colors for however I felt. I can't tell that that's an anchor and I can't tell that that's a crab. <laughs> and I can if I look at it close up in real life. In real life! Um, but I can't on camera or like taking a picture of it or holding it far away from my face to like look at it. I also started this as tent stitch, and I don't think a long, dog, a long dog is meant to be tent stitch. It's just, there's some patterns that you, you just can't get away with it. Um, so I started this over. I just recently started this over because it was really frustrating me, and I really love this pattern, and I did not want to get rid of it. So now I'm gonna show you guys the new or the restart. So the restart for this, I've gotten a fair bit done, honestly, um, considering I just, I, I stitched this in a week or a couple of days, nah, like four days I think is like this progress. So I switched it from 18 count Ada to 14 count Ada. I much prefer 14 count, it's a newfound love. Um, I'm also stitching this four, um, two over one full cross. And I am loving this so much more. So here is where I've gotten to. I've gotten the whale completely done. I got the bird. I got the two little, I wanna say they're like butterflies, I think. I don't know, you tell me, are those butterflies? But I can now see that this is an anchor. Um, I haven't gotten to the crab yet, but I did the little whale down here. I did change the back stitching on this little whale. I didn't like the water, how it, they had it. I'll show you what it was supposed to look like. It was supposed to look like that, and I didn't really like that um, for some reason. So I changed it to be more of like a, 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just I changed it to be both sides instead of just spraying backwards. But I can easily tell that's an anchor now. I could tell those are birds. I could tell this is the bird. I could tell that these are butterflies or at least something. And I'm much, I'm much happier with it as a 14 count um, with this color. This color reminds me of the beach. It's got like sand colors, blue, creams, browns. Um, and this is a colorist, DMC colorist. Uh, 4515 is what it's called. I think it's called Paris is like the name of the colorway. Um, but yeah, it's got like all of the colors I think of as the beach. And I really, I am really enjoying it now. So I'll use that 18 count Ada and that variegated floss for something else. But for now, this is, I, I'm so glad I made the change. <laughs> I tend to um, figure out if I want to start something over once I get to about 3,000 stitches is normally when I'm like, I'm either loving this or I'm not liking this at all. Um, and I, I tend to start a lot of things over. Um, and that's just a learning process for me, I guess, because I've done it with Hades too. Um, my very large full coverage projects. Start stitching out on something and realize it's either you know, not the right number of threads or not the right fabric or what have you. I always am unhappy with it. Um, but yeah, super glad I switched this to 14 count, changed the floss, all the above. I, I'm very happy with that. Okay, next up we have teacup critters. Um, this one I have, I changed this one also. Of course I did. And let me find the picture. So I don't even know what the original color of the pattern is anymore, but I've changed the colors to be that. <laughs> I did so much like editing and trying to figure out what colors I wanted to use. I think they're only supposed to be dark blues. Let me see if I can just find the regular PDF for you guys. <clears throat> if I could do it quickly, then I'll show you. If not, then I'll move on. So I think this was a fairly recent new start, um, mid-December. So it should be up high on the list, hopefully, maybe. Let's see, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's a different one. It's called Hot Drinks. Yeah, I only have the black and white. Um, open PDF. How do I open it? There we go. Um, it called for like browns and pinks and I just didn't want that. So yeah, I switched it to be like colors that I liked. My All my favorite colors really. Kind of what whatever reminded me of like China teacups. Um, but I switched the, or I'm stitching this on 14 count Ada that I hand out myself. Um, the colors are not going to show up on camera for some reason. <laughs> Blues and purples always, there we go, always have a hard time showing up. There, that's the color it is. Maybe a little bit more vibrant than what you're seeing on camera. But um, here is where I've gone to so far. So I am stitching this one full cross, two over one on 14 count Ada. And yeah, I love the colors I switched it to. Um, I, like I said, I didn't want these to be creams and browns and pinks. I wanted them to be more of like China teacups. So, um, yeah, that's where I've got to so far. Not too shabby. Okay. Next up, we have a Stitching Friends birthday start. This is for Sally, Sally Ann Crafting on Instagram. And it is in Project Stitch Crafts bag. And this one is like, sun, it looks like a sunshine-ish owl. And here it is, Laser Arts Designs. Let me see if I can, 
there we are. I'll just hold my hand right here so you can't see any of the pattern. <laughs> um, there is the mock-up of it right there. So super pretty. I love all of the colors. You got the, like the moon and then the sun, which is super awesome. Um, but this is a very sad start of mine here. Um, haven't started very much at all. And this is stitched like this. <coughs> so this is stitched on 18 count Ada. Um, this is three strand tent is what I started this one on. And I did um, three strand tent because this one is a lot of like fuller coverage styled stitching. So I thought it would go faster. But yeah, didn't get very far at all. And then also in this bag, I have another very sad start. This one is a male owl. Let me see if I can get the pattern up for you guys and figure out the name of it. Postal bird. Um, let's see. It doesn't have... I wish all of like the patterns on Etsy would put their designer name on the pattern, but they don't. Um, I have to try and show you guys a picture without showing off the pattern, which I don't really have. So I have to kind of show it quickly. So that's, that's it right there. And I have this on a piece of 18 cow Ada that I dyed myself and I wanted it to be kind of like he's flying at night. Um, this is Hedwig basically. Um, so yeah, I have like here and here going. It's two wings. Not very far in this one either. I love how this fabric turned out though on the dyeing. And this is a needle minder. Uh, this is Ravenclaw from um, Nikki, the thread maiden on Instagram and yeah not very far um but that's that's where we've gotten to <laughs> and I have both of those owls in this bag there's like my owl project bag and I guess nap time is over with already that definitely didn't last very long I'm gonna go try and get him back down and hopefully I'll be right back Okay, that was a very short-lived nap. We're gonna try and do this, but he's out here, so just be warned. <laughs> okay, next up we have a little sleeve with um, like pocket um, bag that I made super quick and easy. This one is, drum roll please. Um, if I can find it. Doo -doo -doo. Where is it? There we go. Our Nouveau Fox by Needle Lot Designs. And this beauty. Super cute, majestic fox. And I haven't gotten too far in this one either, but a fairly decent start, I guess. And um, this one's stitched on 18 count Ada Fiddlers. Um, stitch three, three over one ten stitch. Um, again, this one has like a fair bit of like full coverage-ish style. And I think I can get away with tent. And so far it's looking pretty good in tent. So I'm going to continue with that. So anytime I can get away with tent, yes, please bring it on. Not all the time I can actually accomplish that. <laughs> I try. I just have too many projects and I, I much prefer stitching 10 stitch. I enjoy it more. Okay, next up we have a Stardew Valley pattern. This one is autumn. And let's see, this one is not in Pattern Keeper. Let me see where the pattern is. This is one of my older patterns. I started this one on um, 28 count Ada and I had to start it over because this pattern is uh, gridded by or charted by fives instead of tens. And it's just too hard to grid out 
um, by five <laughs> on 28 count is way too hard. And then not being on Pattern Keeper, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Um, but this is charted by Fancy Fox Glove. And unfortunately, I sent a message out to her asking if she had it charted any other way, and she, she doesn't, um, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, so that's what this pattern is. There is a cat version and a dog version, and I picked the cat version. Sorry, um, Teeny Tiny is grabbing hold of everything right now, so things are a little wobbly. Um, but I restarted this over on 18 count Ada where I could actually chart it uh, by fives, and I much prefer this over everything else. Okay, sweetie, we can't we can't be touching this. No, no, here, take that, take that. Okay, go over there. Go on. Nope, let's leave this alone. Gotta leave the camera alone. This is why videoing anything right now is um, is very hard. Yes, we like to explore. Okay, um, so this is stitch on 18 count Ada Fiddlers, and I am stitching this tent as well. This is three strand tent. Uh, the top of this tray is looking so good. I'm super excited to get more done on this, especially now that I've also started the winter. This one has to like take priority because I started this one first versus the other one. So this one needs to be stitched on more than winter and then winter needs to come second since I said this one was started before the winter one. Okay, next up we have a very sad start. This is Xmas Ghost and Mouse. Um, I started this very quickly. It was a Christmas present. So I tried to start it as quickly as possible um, before the no new starts. Ghost and Mouse, there we go. This is stitched by Mama Witch Stitch, or Mama Witch X Stitch is what it is. But So here is the pattern we're doing now. This is stitched on that 19 count Ada that I dyed a lot of. <laughs> And you guys are gonna laugh uh, when you see what a sad start this is. But you know, it is what it is. So here is the fabric that I dyed. And here is the little sad start. It's the start of the star at the very top of the pattern. So you can't really see like anything when I hold it back here at all. <laughs> um, yeah. One of those things where I was like, oh, I got it for Christmas and I love it, so I have to start it. But I have to start it very quickly and I have a bazillion things to start. And it's just, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have another very sad start. This is Candy Cane Candle. Um, so, a little tidbit is we call Teeny Tiny. Um, we call him, well, my husband calls him Candy King. <laughs> or the Candy King sometimes. Um, so when I saw this pattern, I had to have it because it's, you'll see, just a second. <laughs> Let me get it. Oops, there we go. Right? Okay, this is why I had to get this pattern because it's a Candy King it's almost like a candy cane king, <laughs> but it's a candle. Uh, so yeah, this is from Maria Bravko, um, and it's called Spirit of Christmas Candle. So yep, got this started, but this one has a ton of backstitch, a bazillion colors, and it's very small for all of those things. So um, it's kind of overwhelming. But I have all the colors now, so I can go ahead and get it started, uh, more so than it is right now. This is stitched on 18 count Ada. Um, this is just like a, like an oatmeal, 18 count Ada, and that's as far as I've gotten. Hardly anything, but again, I was missing a ton of colors. I now have all of the missing colors. You cannot have my phone. And so yeah, I need to get this started more. But that was just started like the middle of December. So, um, <laughs> just started basically. Okay, next up, what is this? What is this? This is uh, a no-name. 
<laughs> um, just kidding. I think this is heartstring samplery. Um, yeah, you can't really be in front of me right now when I'm trying to record you, silly. What are you doing? What are you doing, you silly goose? This one, Seasons of the Heart Autumn, um, designed by Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower. There we go. There. This was a May mania start for this last year. Uh, I'm like halfway done with it, or almost halfway done. <laughs> Again, I don't, I could probably work on this on a weekend and finish it, so I don't know why I don't. Um, but this is stitched on 18 cow Ada Fiddlers, and this is three strand tent stitch. Um, so there's some things that you can and cannot stitch in tent, and this would be one of them, straight lines. Uh, because when you go one way, it's straight, and when you go the other way, it's completely not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue stitching this in 10 stitch, but I'm going to rip out these, this stem right here and make it 10 stitch going the opposite way. Um, so that way I can continue and it doesn't look silly. But I'm absolutely loving this. Um, it's going really quickly because it is 10 stitch. Why are you? There. Okay, push it over there. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's stitching it very quickly because it's 10 stitch. Uh, I am loving it, 10 stitch, and how it's looking. Even the center of the flowers is a little bit quirky and different, and I just like it. Um, but from back here, you can't really tell, so I do like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Carefully. What are you doing, you silly? What are you doing? crazy. All right, we're almost done with this container and I guess this is all we're really going to have time for. Um, but I'll try and get more done later. Maybe post it in the same video or post it as like the part five. <clears throat> Next up we have a restart. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh no, don't be fuss bottom. This one is, as soon as I can find it. It's supposed to be a monochromatic, but I changed it. It's Luminous Fiber Arts, it's Enchanted Quaker. Um, so I originally started this on that 19 count piece of fabric that I, it was like a smoky colored dye that I did. Um, you can't be up here, goofball. I know. I restarted this over. I wasn't liking it how I was doing it previously, so I switched this over to 14 Count Fiddler's Ada. Um, and I restarted it over. So here's the first motif. I wanted to stitch it all 10 stitch to make sure I got everything aligned, and I did. So now I'm just going back over it um, to fill in, so that way it'll be two strand full cross. Yes, you can be up here. I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> ah, here. This car. There's the car right here. Ooh, fancy. So this pattern, I am um, changing some things. It's supposed to be monochromatic. Um, I decided instead of stitching it black, I am stitching it with um, this color. You're making this very hard. What's the matter? I don't have anything over here. Here, you have my pouch. You want my pouch? There. Um, so I'm stitching most of the colors in this. I think it's 689. Um, and then I'm changing like very like specific details into this. Um, into this. What is this called? A crew? I think this is called, no, this isn't called a crew. <laughs> what is this? This is, well, it's a DMC of some sort. I can't remember the name of what this like metallic -y thread is called, but it's not very fun to stitch with. I definitely should have picked something else, but that's okay. Um, so like the pumpkin I'm gonna do in this like orange and the bubbles from the cauldron I'm gonna do here, the bat and spider I'm gonna do in purple. And just like, just in general, I'm gonna do some of the motifs as like the sparkly thread, so. 
this one I it's kind of just on the timeout because I had to restart it and so I was kind of frustrated and I haven't really pulled it out since I restarted it so this will definitely be one that I need to bring back out soon yeah yeah all right it looks like we're gonna have to stop there because mister is getting cranksters um but i'll be back probably for like a second for you and way longer for me so <laughs> be right back okay we're back with lots of background noise so we're gonna try and get this container finished hopefully <laughs> oh, okay um next up we have a little bookcase or a book sleeve that i made and this is um, two by two stitch art flower galaxy number one and it is the flower not this one but the flower one that I'm doing and I chose to do this um, not on black Ada like it calls for but on Fiddler's Ada 18 count Ada and I'm doing three strand tent and this just seemed more like a very um, less retro and more like um vintage kind of feel doing it this way so um this is what i've done so far and this one's stitching up pretty good um in 10 stitch i yeah i'm very pleased with this th the three strand tent on this one so that is that one and I think we might only have one more for this container. Let's, let's see. Yep, only one more. So this one is the Mirror Valise. Um, Harry Potter. Let me find it. Um, I know this one is in, there we go. View PDF. This is Ariste Mir um, by Ars Anarika. Anarika, I believe is how you say it. Okay, so it's this one right here. Super pretty. Um, it is very large though, um, larger than you would expect. It's 176 by 275. Um, and I am stitching this one on 14 count, thank goodness. Um, but I am also stitching this full cross and I have thought about trying to switch it to tent stitch, but I think I'm gonna keep it full cross just cause there's some spots that do have like just a line or two. So um, again, uh, 14 count fiddlers, Ada, full cross. Uh, we have a little needle minder by thread maiden and this is where we are at so far like i said this thing is going to be huge <laughs> and i've only gotten this much done so far um two strand um over one full cross oh goodness shh, 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 shh. quiet voice thank you all right, it looks like that's it for this container. See if I can get away with doing a second container. We will see. Um. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just dive right in. Next up we have a Heaven and Earth Designs pattern. This one is Indigo Fairy um, by Julie Fain and it is the full size pattern. I love this one. This one really pulls on my little girl heartstrings. I'm a hardcore like dragon and fairy fan and it's got all my favorite colors. The, the blue, indigo, violet type colors. The only thing is missing is green. You need green in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this one's also going to be huge since it is a hade. Um, but I am stitching this. So one, two, 
So three strand of four, three strand full, or excuse me, three strand tent stitch. Um, yeah, three strand tent. I'm also trying to do my own version of the Royal Rose on this as well. Uh, Royal Rose, you stitch uh, two um, blocks up and down. Um, you park to the next two if you can. If not, you park below. Um, but I'm parking a little bit further because I'm okay with parking a long ways. And it seems to be doing really good. Um, I have no grid lines at all. So I'll definitely be doing, sh 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 I'll definitely be doing this for my lifetime project that I'll be kidding up or that I am kidding up here soon, um, which I'll talk about in my next whip update video. But um, here's where we've gotten to so far. Um, again, 18 cow Ada fiddlers, um, three strand tent. This is a full cross pattern. And we have craft the easy hands needle minder um, of my cat. Oh, so much fabric. Really? I see. <laughs> this one I have, I didn't have enough of my floss cards. So, <laughs> don't judge me. Uh, this one is kitted up on a Cheerio box. <laughs> I just took my big hole punch um, and then wrote on <laughs> the cardboard. Oh, too funny. Anyway, so this one's, oops, sorry, hit the mic. This one's kitted up on Cheerios. <laughs> Be resourceful, right? That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Mom, 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 Sorry for all the background noise. Kiddos. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, next up we have a restart. So I'll show you all the above. So this is Mini Morning Blue by Heaven Earth Designs. Um, it's this girl right here. But I recently decided I have way too many Heaven Earth Designs patterns, even though I still have more on my wish list. <laughs> but um, I decided to make this into a story keep. So I've actually cropped it to be about right there, cropped it to be there, or maybe right there, I can't remember if I have this bell in there or not. Um, yeah, I have that bell in there. So I've basically cropped the pattern um, to be, this and to be this. All right, this is the pattern that I basically cropped and I made it a story keep. So I basically chopped off like 30,000 stitches by doing, the, by doing the crop. So all of this and all of this is gone. So I originally, so this is 18 count Ada. Um, yeah, this is 18 count Ada that I've done a lot of like test stitching on. Um, so here was my original start. And yeah, so I've, I've since trashed this. Okay, so here is the restart of this one. I, st I restarted it, oatmeal, 18 count Ada. Um, and then here is the restart. Again, I started doing this one Royal Rose across the top, but it is a, um, my type of royal rose so you can see there is some like cross country in there um very light colors right now but you can start to see some of the like watercolory feel to this pattern which i really like and um yeah i'm really i'm much i'm much preferring this now 18 count ada three strand tent is what this is so this is what it's going to be. Pretty much it will fit this whole thing. But there she is. There, put her 
in that bag. Back in the bag. Okay, with the picture and its cropped form. There we go. Okay, next up, if I can beat my camera from dying, everything is just working against me here. Uh, next up, we have many of the possibilities. Um, Evolution Rainbow, um, chartered by Heaven Earth Designs. And this is one of the hates that I have. Tina's! <laughs> I have this one fully kitted up, um, which is nice, minus like one or two colors. Um, but here is where I've gotten to. This is stitch um, 18 count Ada three strand tent yeah three strand tent and this is where i've gotten to almost so far there we go there i really love this one i love how it's turning out there is a fair bit of confetti in some of the areas though so this one definitely is slow especially since i have other um pokemon patterns that are stamped but this one's not going away i do I do love stitching on this one, and I love the, this Ada. This Ada is very nice. Okay, that is it for this one. We have one more. Let's see if I can beat my camera. Okay, we have another fully kitted up Heaven Earth Designs pattern. This one is Mini Moon Charmer. Um, one of my favorite hades that I have and very well loved as you can see from the kids <laughs> okay this one is stitch 16 count ada um oatmeal ada um and it's stitch four strands which is why it's four strands because 16 count um and i absolutely love this one this is the closest that i would ever do a head to 14 count obviously <laughs> um i started saying that and then that was a really like duh thing to say um but <laughs> here's where we've gotten to so far um, really, really liking this pattern. I'm finally got some missing colors and I'm filling in some of the stars now. I think, yeah, so all of these stars are done now. And I just have a couple of spots over here that need filled in and then all of this is done. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this one. I need to continue working on it. Um, but I was missing some colors and I kind of got discouraged because of that. Me and missing colors just do not fit. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to work on something if I have missing colors. But I think I have since um, fixed those missing colors. So I need to get this one going again. That's it for this one. And that's it for this container. So I think we're gonna call it there. This ended up being a very long-winded video with lots of background noise and a lot of space cadetti trying to look things up. Um, sorry, that's just kind of how it is these days. Um, so there's definitely gonna be a part five. No, I mean, this is part three. There's definitely gonna be a part four. I still have a couple of patterns over here in this drawer. Um, I have one more drawer left over here and then I still have a five drawer filing cabinet full of patterns so I'm hoping I can squeeze it into just a part four but there might actually be part five. Oh well I have a lot of <laughs> I have a lot of projects um, I will be talking about my lifetime project and showing that off um, in the next whip update video which I'll be recording here really soon. Um, and then I'll show you guys how I'm kidding that up and what I or how I plan on stitching on that. And yeah, that's all for this whip update video. Thank you all so much for hanging with me the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, life, life as a mom. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you have any questions about any of my projects or maybe I missed something, please leave me a comment down below. Um, send me an email, send me an Instagram post at, at Schlesum, um, Schlesum, Schlesum underscore boogie stitcher. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.